In this video, we're going to walk through Active Campaign with Angela, who's a product expert from the Active Campaign team. We're going to walk through all the different tools and features to help you see if it's the right fit for your situation. And as you'll see throughout the walkthrough, it's way more than just an email marketing provider. There's a ton of marketing and automation tools built into their products to really help you build relationships and grow your business in an automated way. And if at any point throughout this video, you wanna try Active Campaign out for yourself completely for free, you can do so using the links in the description box or the pinned comment of this video. And doing so will connect you directly to an Active Campaign rep so they can walk you through setting up the product for your specific situation. So with that, let's jump in. I'm so happy to help here and to showcase what Active Campaign can look like to someone who might be interested in switching providers um, or just interested in an IMA platform. So technically, as I said, we are an IMA platform, which is considered an intelligent marketing automation platform. So as opposed to just hosting your contacts, sending to them, hosting, sending, we can do that. That's great. That's fine. I feel like a lot of platforms can do that, but uh, we will host your contacts. We'll understand what they like, what they don't like why they're opening at a specific time of day, and then really use that kind of behavior to drive more personalized, segmented content, as well as give you visibility into what's working and, and what's not. So kind of the full scope of a contact journey, contact life cycle, with a lot of different elements of engagement, CRM, all that good stuff. So today, primarily, we're gonna look at the basics. Uh, so we're gonna be looking at contact management. So an example, of a contact inactive campaign. We're gonna be looking at campaigns, how to create a campaign, and then what it looks like uh, in relations to automation, which I know is a big selling point to a lot of people. Sweet, sounds awesome. I kind of just did a monologue there. Did you have any other questions or anything else you wanted to see? No, that was great. That, that was awesome. That's exactly <laughs> what I was looking for. And then, yeah, Perfect. I'll just let you walk through those, those key things. And I guess the first question I'd start off with for anyone watching this is that, is there a specific kind of person that or business that that active campaign really typically works really well for or is it is there tons of different use cases love that question so i would say the latter so active campaign is designed to work as an extension of you an extension of your team you could be a small kind of mom and pop team you could have a huge marketing presence so it's really bending and uh, molding active campaign to fit that uh, primarily the people I work with are that small to mid-size range, but we have super large Fortune 500 enterprise uh, teams that I work with and, and things like that. So it's kind of a not answer answer, but all of the above here. Okay, sweet. Awesome. <laughs> so first of all, uh, if you are watching and you are familiar with these types of platforms, you've used some of the other ones in the past, I'm still going to be breaking it down by verbiage of what Active Campaign is. Through my experience with Active Campaign and other platforms, a lot of them call the same thing, just something different, just to be fun and creative. So just to avoid any of that, uh, I will break it down for you. So dashboard, we all know what that means, but this is the main dashboard when you pop into the system. So you can customize this view. You can see trends at a glance, recent activity on the side. It's pretty straightforward. It's a normal dashboard. But what I want to show you is an example of our segmentation or our segment builder. So with this main contacts page, a big thing here that a lot of my clients really like is the fact that, let's say out of this uh, 841, if you open the segment builder, which basically is gonna be your new best friend, you'll see it throughout the whole platform, but we can say, all right, of this list, I wanna see all the people that are in, let's say Denver and or maybe they've opened anything in the last 30 days, or maybe they've opened this specific welcome email ever. So things like that, you're really able to layer those on top of each other, get that granular search. Of course, after that search, you can add it to automation, you can edit, do whatever you need to with that listing or that grouping, I should say but it's all based on what you've acquired from that contact and then also behavior too. But getting into kind of the good stuff with an example of a contact record. So again, this is just my demo dummy account. The data looks a little wonky, but just to give you a full picture. But with the contact record, you're able to see their custom fields. So that's that static information that's really not changing, name, birthday, email, that kind of thing. Of course, you can add your own fields. Here we have the tags associated to this person. 
These are like uh, more interest based, kind of like stickers on their account. So these could be changing depending on what someone's doing, not doing that type of deal. So you can see some examples here, whether they've um, downloaded a PDF or they've attended a event or even if they like plastic apparently. So whatever you want those naming conventions to be, you have complete control over that and you can manually enter those or you can have them automated, which is a lot more common and that will be addressed when we get to automations. You have the list associated to this person. These are those buckets you're placing people in. Important to note, you can set list preferences. So if someone does unsubscribe, that's fine, but unsubscribe from what? And then you can see here the ones that they've pick and choose from. One of the other big things here, if you are in e-commerce, if you have a Shopify or a WooCommerce instance, we can get the revenue per person, have multiple stores, even get into product specific. That's sweet. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's gonna be through our deep data integration. And this is also where you're able to see abandoned carts and things like that and really see what that looks like in automations too. That's wicked. So you can set up some pretty intricate flows to retarget people or target specific kinds of people that are buying from you. Exactly. And that's why the non answer answer earlier with what kind of industries and things like that. Yeah. It's kind of across the board because we have a high e commerce uh, setup, but also a lot of B2B with like account based management and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. I think the customization makes you have a ton of freedom in terms of how you're using the tool. So that's awesome. Yeah, which could seem daunting if you aren't as familiar. But with Active Campaign, there's a ton of different resources and support and onboarding so that there's going to be a lot of lifeguards on duty, so to speak, to yeah. really help you strategize and get set up appropriately. That's huge. That's something I see all the time with making videos like this is that people just get overwhelmed and they think that they can't do it. And so that's awesome yeah. to hear there's a ton of support to actually set everything up. Yeah. And I don't know if, you know, whoever is watching, if you're anything like me, if I could see someone go through this all day, but the second I get in there myself, I'm like, I don't even remember my name. I don't know what's going on. So there is a ton of support that you'll have access to should you need that kind of direction or hand holding your guidance. Amazing. Uh, we are also able to uh, understand what it took for someone to convert if you were to do digital ads. So again, I'm kind of touching these on, on a high level. Should anyone be interested, we're happy to get into this more specifically here but you're able to see what it took for them to convert into whatever goal that you want to propose here. You can see it on a per person basis as well as an overview kind of graph. This is all custom integration. This is if you were to use our CRM, tasks associated to it. But more importantly here, you're able to see notes on this person. You can attach files. You can see all emails that were sent back and forth. Wow. So anything from your domain and this contact, whether it's from yourself or a different user of the account, you're able to see it here. And then recent activities on the side. Any questions? I kind of breezed through, through that. No, I think that all makes a ton of sense. And I think that uh, I'm sure as we dive deeper into automations and whatnot, you'll see the different applications for each of those tools. But top of level, I think everyone who, or most people who have dipped their toes into these kinds of tools probably knows what that means. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope so. <laughs> and if you don't, that's fine too. We're happy to help. Yeah, absolutely. Great. So now I wanted to get into campaigns. So campaign is email. Email is campaign. Those are synonymous terms there. So a campaign, or excuse me, an example of a campaign could be a one-off kind of broadcast style. Again, there's the automated kinds, A-B testing, all of those qualify. So just so that, again, we're on the same verbiage playing field. That's exactly what I'm talking about. But here you can filter by the different types of campaigns, see the different status of them. But I want to show you an example of creating one. So campaign name, you could say your newsletter for April of 2024. Again, we have different types. I'll show you the automated one when we get there, but just to show you standard, from one view, you're able to add, edit, adjust, whatever you need to with this campaign. Of course, the goal is to get as personalized as possible. So let's say, hey, first name, or whatever you wanna add here. Same thing with pre-header text. Then we get to the front part. Where does it look like it's coming from? Hello, at, support, at, Ben at, whatever that looks like. 
You can choose what list you want to send it to. You can segment it of that list. Again, just the people that have engaged in the last X amount of days or whatever you want to put as parameters. Keep everything on if you want. So tracking, all that good stuff. But let's get started with the designer. So we give you a bunch of kind of bare bones templates that you can plug your plug and play, really make your own. You can always start from scratch, but we give you a bunch of pre-designed templates. So a lot of them could be more fun than others, but you have a ton of options. So just to show you for an example, let's just pick one here. Uh, let's do this newsletter. From there, it's pretty straightforward, kind of fun. You are just dragging and dropping. So you can drag and drop uh, columns, we call them structures, images, call the action buttons, whoops. Determine where you want that to go, what you want that to look like. Socials a timer as a countdown for something, HTML blocks. What's pretty cool too is with our text box, we have an AI component. So you could even say, it takes a second, but it would spit out an obnoxiously long answer that you're able to shorten, change the tone, all of that good stuff. So think of this more as supplemental content to what you, whoever would want to send out. Um, so we'd be able to help kind of bridge the gap with that. And then lastly on this page, so we do have the option to save modules. So if there's something that you're using more often, like your logo or a meet the team block, you can save that and have it be its own drag and drop block as well. And there are a lot of other engagement type features and little cool tricks and ins and outs with the campaign builder. Again, I would love to set up time with whomever to actually walk through that, but those are going to be the main pieces as it relates to building an email, building a campaign. Sweet. Yeah, it looks pretty simple and easy to use. The drag and drop functionality is awesome. because then It's kind of thoughtless. You just, you know how you want it to look and then you drag and you drop and you get there. Yeah. And you'll notice that is a reoccurring theme or pattern throughout active campaign. Um, we're pretty, we're pretty straightforward and predictable at that point where it's going to be a drag and drop. We find that it's really easy for people that have experience and that maybe are on the beginning end of marketing to really figure that, that kind of piece out. So then from there, you can either go next, go back to edit, or you can save and exit. And then you're looped back to campaigns. So the last piece I want to show you is going to be automation. So that's going to be the heart of active campaign. A lot of the things are powered by automations. Uh, sometimes automations can seem scary to some clients. You don't have to have things powered by automations. You can still do things manually if you like. Point being again, options. So once you hit create an automation, we give you a ton of different, they're called recipes, which is basically just a framework that gives you some um, insight or some kind of start into what you're looking to do based off of industry here. Cool. So of course we have industry specific ones. We also just have good old welcome series. So completely up to you here. Just for the sake of time, I just went ahead and created an automation just as an example. So once you add a trigger, that's gonna kickstart this automation. So when they submit a form or when they visit a page, if you ever have any questions on them, you can hover over, it tells you what it is, how it's used, what you need to use that specific trigger. Then it'll prompt you to add an action. All right, great, they did that trigger point, that kickoff, now what? So you have options here, what we can do for an action. In this example, and again, you guessed it, we're dragging and dropping, I sent them an email. So you can start with the past campaign, start something new. I just did a welcome series. Then I did a wait sequence. So I wanna wait a day, an hour, five minutes, three years, or you can wait until, boom, there's a segment builder again. So you can say, wait until they've opened something. Then you can do a reminder email, which is what I did here, but this time I'm sending it with predictive sending. So this is my favorite feature that we have in ActiveCampaign. 
It utilizes our analytics to understand when a specific person is most likely going to engage in their inbox. Wow. Hold it, send it at that time. That's wicked. Yeah, definitely is going to optimize those open rates, especially if you have a larger contact threshold, or maybe if you're working with international uh, mm. contacts, you don't have to do that guesswork anymore. That's awesome. And then I split it off. So I said, did they open that and click on a specific link in that specific email? Yep, great. Now I want to add a tag to that person, which is what we saw in the contact record. Let's add them to a list. If you were to use our CRM, you can add a deal in the CRM, kick it over to sales or whatever you're using our CRM for and all of those types of capabilities there. Maybe they didn't do anything. Okay, let's remove them from that list. Um, I don't want them to be bombarded with content from that specific type of, of section that they're in or, or bucket that they're in rather if they're not engaged with us anymore. So just an example of, of one of the things that you could do there too. We also have that AI component again within the automation builder, which is super cool. So kind of like with what I did here, if you add and we give you some options and recommendations too, but it'll create that for you. That's wicked. Saves you a ton of time. I, absolutely. Yeah. And it's also, again, for people that know the concept that they want to do but if these are a lot of buttons or drag and drop options you're like this is too much let's just type it out it'll do that for you sweet great well that's all i have for you amazing How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, that's great no I, I see the applications are potentially endless depending on your business and what you're trying to achieve so like i'm sold but if anyone else needs to be <laughs> sold more and they want to speak with you uh that's something that they can do, right? If they, if they follow the, the information in the description box of this video, they can actually contact you directly and you, you'll walk them to the product. Yeah, absolutely. So depending on your use case and everything, we want to make just like the, the platform, we want to be very custom and tailored to each customer. So whether, um, you know, you reach out to me directly and if we can point you in a better direction of this team of, of active campaign to work on this specific goal that, that you're looking to obtain, someone will definitely be able to work with you and, uh, hopefully get get you set up if you also like what you see. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, absolutely. So definitely take advantage of that. If you want to speak with the team over Active Campaign and speak with Angela herself, there there will be information on how to do that in the pinned comment and description box of this video. So definitely go ahead and do it. Figure it out if it's the right fit for you. And, uh, and why not? You get to speak with some awesome people at the very <laughs> least. I love that. I'm going to, I hope everyone talks about me that way some days. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Angela. I really appreciate you walking through this. And uh, thank you in advance for all the help that you're going to give to anyone watching this video. Yeah, absolutely. I'm more than happy to help. And I look forward to connecting with whoever wants to chat more about Active Campaign. Awesome. Thank you.